in World Sailing Case 146, 10 seconds before the starting signal, two overlap boats were approaching the race committee boat on starboard tech. As the windward boat was passing astern of the committee boat, the Lewid boat came up to luff. The windward boat came up slightly in response, but they were unable to luff further without making contact with the committee boat. The Lewid boat bore away to avoid contact and protested the windward boat. Was the protest upheld or dismissed? The ruling is coming up next, so pause the video here if you'd like to consider the case first. The protest committee disqualified the windward boat for barging. The windward boat appealed the case. Their appeal was upheld and the protest committee's decision was reversed. Here's how the racing rules apply. The committee boat was both a mark and an obstruction under the definitions of mark and obstruction. However, under the introduction to Section C, which covers Rule 18 on mark room and Rule 19 on obstructions, Rules 18 and 19 did not apply in this case because the boats were approaching a starting mark surrounded by navigable water as they were about to start. As the boats were overlapped and on the same tack, the windward boat was required to keep clear of the lewid boat under Rule 11. Under the definition of keep clear, a boat is keeping clear of a right-of-way boat, a. If the right-of-way boat can sail their course, and b. As the boats were overlapped, if the right-of-way boat can change course in both directions without immediately making contact. The windward boat was ruled to have complied with Rule 11. When the Lewid boat luffed astern of the committee boat, they were required by Rule 16.1 to give the windward boat room to keep clear, including enough room to avoid hitting a mark. Because they bore away, the Lewid boat was deemed to have given the windward boat room to keep clear, including avoiding hitting a mark, under Rule 16.1. Although the windward boat broke Rule 11 when the Lewid boat luffed, they were exonerated under Rule 43.1b. Under that rule, a boat is exonerated if, while sailing within the room they were entitled to, they broke a rule as a consequence of the actions of another boat who owed them that room. In this case, the windward boat was entitled to room under Rule 16.1. In summary, when boats are approaching a starting mark to start and a lewid boat luffs, the windward boat is exonerated by Rule 43.1b if they break Rule 11 while sailing within the room to which they are entitled under Rule 16.1. What could the boats have done differently? The lewid boat could have luffed sooner while the windward boat had room to tack, thereby closing the door. In that scenario, the windward boat would not have been entitled to room between the lewid boat and the committee boat, and the windward boat would not have been exonerated for breaking Rule 11 if they continued to sail between the lewid boat and the committee boat. Meanwhile, the windward boat could have avoided being overlapped by a lewid boat, thereby risking the door being closed on them. But in the situation they were already in, if the lewid boat luffed before they were astern of the committee boat, the windward boat could have waited their turn to pass the committee boat, for example by going head to wind first. What do you think the boats should have done instead? Comment below and subscribe to this channel to learn how racing rules are applied. Also check out our playlists for related cases. Let us know in the comments what scenarios you'd like to see. Thanks for watching.